Hi Leo, Power Light Tarot coming at you with your reading here, and this is uh, supposed to be for the latter part or the last half of April, okay you guys, and um, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. Don't forget your moon and your rising videos, alright, because it's going to paint a more complete picture of your situation, um, and if you don't know those, you can get those over at cafeastrology.com, okay, and um, I had to put this down because I have a new table that I'm scratching and uh, my covering that I have is not here so just this is how this is looking today still gonna get a great reading you guys and um, <laughs> and uh, before we get started thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, comments and readings okay you guys and um, the bottom of the deck is the seven of swords let's see and we had the Page of Swords as well, okay? So let's get started. Uh, the Seven of Swords is also in your reading, okay, Leo? So I feel like somebody is sneaky here, okay, already, all right? Um, and um, let's see what else. The Empress is here as well. Let's see. Let's get into the reading, as is the Queen of Cups, okay? Your overall energy is the Ten of Cups, Leo. Talks about a happy family, all right, and having all your Ten Cups filled with love, brimming, okay? Why is that Ten of Cups there for Leo, please? The Eight of Wands. So you could be, you know, you could have uh, news about your union here, about your family life, could be. It doesn't always have to be a family, but it is, you know, a union here. Um, or there could be change, all right, developments, okay? Let me get another card. There is a card that popped out, but I didn't even... I hardly shuffled anything. Clarify this Eight of Wands for Leo, please. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. I don't know if you guys can see these cards the way this is here. Um, the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you, you, know, you or the other person is becoming single because of change. Definitely. Okay, here is the Nine of Pentacles. It is the card of being independent on your own, also of abundance. Yeah, with the Eight of Wands, I feel like there's change here. The Two of Pentacles is what's crossing or challenging. There could be juggling, all right? Sorry to say. Why is the Two of Pentacles going? Why is that there for Leo? Why is the Two of Pentacles crossing Leo? The King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign who is possibly juggling you, okay? You could be juggling them. That could be the case here. Uh, let's get one more card on that King of Pentacles. Why is he King of Pentacles there for Leo? The Ten of Wands. So there's a burden here. Somebody, is, I feel like this juggling here, either a decision or a person, okay, um, excuse me, involves an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. It doesn't have to be, okay, but, you know, it can be somebody who is who has financial stability usually, the King of Pentacles, right? And um, there is a burden, though, surrounding that, okay? The Empress is, why it's all happening, uh, why is the Empress there? Why is the Empress there in Leo's roots? The Empress can be Libra or Taurus, okay? Can be, okay, you guys? The Four Swords is in the roots, so somebody is... Could be healing here, but I feel like somebody is just, you know, resting or totally in reflection over an empress. Let's get one more card. The empress can sometimes be the other woman or the other man because it is a number three, okay? Can be the mistress. Clarify the four swords. Why is the four swords showing up in the root for Leo? The Knight of Cups. So somebody could be you know, offering, thinking about, right, uh, reflecting on whether or not they should offer love maybe to an empress. There could also be a lot of passion in a situation or growth, right? Uh, let's see, though. I feel like there is an empress here rather than so much growth, okay? Uh, let's see. The Ace of Pentacles is the past for you, Leo. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Leo, please. The Three of Wands is here. Okay, somebody in the past, somebody was waiting for their ships to come in for a new, stable, abundant beginning, okay? 
that is pretty clear here. Um, this can mean, you know, somebody was turning their back, but so far I would feel like somebody was in the past, they were waiting for this to come in. All right. Let's get one more card on the recent past for Leo. Clarify the Three of Wands for Leo, please. The Knight of Pentacles is here. Okay, so um, the King of Pentacles is here. Okay, I feel like there's definitely either a situation where there is stability here or, you know, finances, right? But this is, you know, I feel like you're dealing with an Earth sign. In the past, I feel like you could have waited for your ships to come in with this person. The Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, sorry, Taurus, or Capricorn. It could be Taurus too. The Empress, as I mentioned, can be Taurus or Libra. Can be anybody, really, with, you know, uh, with, with Empress-like qualities. But um, let's see as we go on with the reading, okay? I had to cover my new table here because these cards are scratching the table. Yikes. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords on Leo's mind? Okay, I feel like you're raising your sword, Leo, and you want answers or you want honesty. Clarify this Queen of Swords, please, for Leo. The Knight of Cups. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is your wish come true and you are definitely asking questions. Why is this going on? What's, you know, wh how are we going to, you know, uh, maybe, you know, how are we going to work on this? I want to know about this. I want to know about that. Situations like that. Why did you do this, right? Let's get one more card because the Nine of Cups is on your mind, okay? And over here, you are reflecting here. You're in deep meditation here. Clarify this Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups in on Leo's mind? The Six of Pentacles. So, you know, you could be asking somebody, your partner, okay, whoever you're dealing with, you could be wanting balance and raising your sword. And I want balance now. I want equal exchange here. I feel like there was change in the past and you became single. This could be the other person, but I feel like this is you. You became single here, okay? And a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn may be challenging you or may be part of this why you have become single here. They were a burden, I feel like. They could have had an Empress here. That could be the case here, okay? You could have had an Empress. Maybe. You could just be reflecting over here why it's all happening. You could be in deep meditation, possibly, about growth within your union, right? Because over here you are, I feel like you are either demanding questions about, you know, about balance within your union, or you are asking if there is a third party, or you are wanting some answers maybe about a third party situation. Strong Earth energy here with the Knight and the King of Pentacles showing up here uh, in the challenge position and also in the recent past. The Four of Cups is in your near future. Clarify that Four of Cups for Leo, please. The Devil is here. So I feel like in the near future, you know, you could be having fear here, okay, of being unhappy in a situation here. Yeah. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. Yes, that could be true here, but the devil shows up uh, sometimes more just because of devilish energy here. You could be unhappy here. You could be rejecting somebody because they're, you know, they're trying to pull something here. Clarify the devil. Why is he devil? This can just be disappointment, but it is usually unhappiness. Clarify the devil card in the near future for Leo. The Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse. Okay, so for many of you guys, you guys are, you know, you could be experiencing financial loss when the Queen of Pentacles shows up in the reverse. Especially next to the devil. 
This can be, you know, the devil can talk about third-party energy as well. It can talk about so many things. There are three, you know, the devil is here with two other people on the card, right? And they are in bondage. You could be feeling stuck here. Mm-hmm. Because you are unhappy here, maybe. Because of a queen of pentacles, possibly. This queen of pentacles could be this same earth sign up here, possibly. The king and the knight of pentacles. To me, there definitely, for some of you Leos, there is an earth sign lingering, right? There's earth energy. There is somebody who is an earth sign here. We're going to get one more card. This is so interesting, right? Clarify the queen of pentacles in the reverse for Leo, please. The Four of Wands. So this is about your union and about your, you know, your partnership here, your relationship or your marriage. There could be financial loss here. There could be. But there could also just be an earth sign, okay? I'm going over to Vimeo, Leo, to finish out the reading and to, you know, clarify and verify what's going on here uh, with you and this person. This is definitely turned into a love reading. And I'm going to be talking about you know, how you're seeing yourself or the other person, right? Uh, who or what's in your environment, your hopes and fears, all right? This can sometimes be the hopes and fears of the other person sometimes and your outcome, okay? And if you guys want to see the all the extendeds and crosswatch, you can see them for just $8.99. You can also get a private reading for $25 or two for $40. Get a reading on your person, all right, you guys? Thank you so much.